still see my hair though, can't you? I need a hood really, don't I? Well, hi everyone. <laughs> oh, the lighting in here is just awful. Right, um, apologies for the lighting because like, I really can't be to go and get my lights. So, you're stuck with this yellowness. So, do well, you're not even gonna see me for most of the video anyway, so it's fine. Um, secondly, sorry for the noise you can hear in the background, it's the appliances in the kitchen. Can't do anything about that unless I want the fridge to go off. And thirdly, I apologise for this. <laughs> it was just to give you a visual indicator of what I might be doing today. This one's even worse, watch this one. Sorry, it just really like it freaks me out to look at it. But look at this. You can still see my eyes and everything. <laughs> I don't know why I bought these. <laughs> isn't that disgusting? That's disgusting, isn't it? I'm not gonna wear it whilst I'm doing what I'm doing because you know, hazards. So obviously Squid Game. I've seen it now. And obviously. Oh, you can't even see this one side of my face. Obviously, um, <laughs> uh, it was all the rage. The thing that became quite popular from it was Dalgona candy, and that looks quite relatively simple to make. So I thought I'd have a go at making it today. So, don't expect miracles. It's literally two ingredients, and I'm probably going to screw it up. May I remind you of the two ingredient ice cream bread? Was it three ingredients? Well, I made two ingredients somewhere and I royally cocked that up, so got the ladle. So basically, Dalgona candy is melted, melted sugar. We already have a ladle. Oh, that's the one that um, the thing's coming off on. Yes, the, the, the handle's coming off, so which wouldn't be great if I dropped it, wouldn't I? You melt some sugar in a ladle, you add Two, tea, uh, two pinches of bicarb of soda. It creates a reaction which puffs up the sugar into basically honeycomb, but not really honeycomb. And it forms like a little candy, and then you pour it out onto some baking parchment, press it down and imprint a shape into it. I've just realized I don't have any cookie cutters with me. <laughs> I've just found, um, since it's almost Halloween, well, it's almost Halloween for me, and by the time this video is out, it will already have been Halloween for you. So we're going to do both. We're going to do a Christmas tree, Christmas tree, and a pumpkin and a bat. Pumpkin and a bat. Okay, so you press that shape into the um, liquid candy that's cool a little bit, and then the game is you have to um, break the shape out of the middle without breaking it. So. People use a toothpick or a little pin or they use their tongue to lick the edges. And then if you were successful in that, the vendor who gave it to you would give you another one or a toy or something, stuff like that. Or you can just eat them. So I'm gonna be attempting to do this. Now, it is actually a lot more complicated than you think because if you leave the ladle by the heat for too long, the sugar will burn. Okay, you're gonna need, need, so a spatula, you can also use like a little frying pan, but most people use a spatula. Um, a chopstick, so you can stir the sugar. You can use a spoon, but like a chopstick's gonna be easier. Um, a non-stick baking sheet or pan or parchment paper. I've just laid out some parchment paper here and hope for the best that works. <laughs> um, it does say a rubber spatula as well, but I don't really know why I need one of those. Use this, That's, that'll be fine, won't it? Um, Ideally, you'd have a hot oak press. A hot oak is, I've made that before, is a little pancake that's squished down. It's got some cinnamon sugar in the middle. Uh, alternatively, you can use a bowl that's got a flat bottom. So I'm just using this. Um, some cookie cutters, which I've shown you. And lollipop sticks are optional. That's if you like want to put the lollipop as it, and make it as a lollipop or something like that. So you need uh, 1.5 tablespoons of sugar. I have a teaspoon, so that's a great start, isn't it? You can use white or brown, whatever you want. And a sixteenth of a teaspoon of baking soda, which is equivalent to about two to three small pinches. I'm just using I'm just using some little egg cup 
here. Now you need to be careful because as soon as you put in the baking soda, it's going to cause the reaction, as soon as. Which is why you're not supposed to leave the, it, the ladle by the heat whilst you're putting in the baking soda and whilst it's reacting. One and a half teaspoons of Zucra. I'm going to turn on the heat. Okay, you can kind of see that. I'm going to go for it because you can kind of see it. Okay, so. I don't know how long this is supposed to take. I'll be on like wearing my glasses or something. So you wait till the sugar starts melting around the edges. Unfortunately, you need to be able to see, and I can't. Probably should have done some smaller one, but yeah, no matter. Can you actually see? Can you even see? Well, the light's just awful. So it doesn't see how long it's supposed to take. I'm not very good at just standing still. <laughs> Okay, the edges are starting to melt. So we're going to stir continuously to control the heat. Okay, I think this is burning. <laughs> you don't want it to be smoking. Come on, come on. I mean, everyone says it's going to be easy, but if you actually look at what's happening, it's really not. <laughs> Melting sugar is one of the most difficult things to do in the baking world. You just just never does what you ask it to do, does it? Right, it seems to have crystallised. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Can you melt, please? Melt. God, that's proper hard, oh, that is. Okay, we're melting. We're melting, guys. We're melting. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? Ow, my hand is starting to cramp. Okay, we're almost there. Just got to get rid of the crystallised bits. Even though my glasses on you, I'm completely blind. I can't, I can't see anything. I don't know whether this is supposed to be the correct colour. I always thought it was supposed to be like a caramelly colour. <laughs> Why do you never do practices, Tom? You should just do practices, shouldn't you? You don't want any lumps. I think the thing that's difficult with sugar is things can change in a split second. Like you can go from having a taffy-like sugar to, to, to like toffee-like, sorry. Um, and if like a second later, it'll become like one that'll dry into a hard crack because the temperature of sugar increases very quickly. Okay, I'm gonna go for it, guys. You know. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, here we go. Oh, something's happening. Look. Okay, nothing's happening. <laughs> We're not putting enough in. You know, it's not really melting to a consistency where I can pour it. <laughs> okay, we're well, 100% doing this wrong, which is fine, because it's only the first attempt. Okay, let's try and pour it. So it's not in a circle like at all. <laughs> it didn't work at all. That's <laughs> really nice though. Proper wrecked this new spatula now. How do vendors do this? Surely they're not like reusing the same ladle, right? It's not economic for them to keep buying new ladles. I'm fairly certain that didn't use enough sugar for stars. I let the sugar cook a bit more than I should have. It wasn't lump free. All right, let's do that then. And she didn't have it that close either. So it might take a bit longer. But I believe in this one. And then she also put the, as soon as it started to change consistency and color after adding the baking soda, she put, um, it back over the heat for about five seconds. So I'm gonna do that. You can never go wrong with a bit of Emmy because she usually gets it right in the end. So I've turned the heat up to about a medium uh, low heat. As we previously on medium to medium low. I mean low to low medium, low to medium low. So I've turned it up a bit more. And we're just gonna melt the sugar. Keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. So I think what I'm gonna do this time is there's any lumps, I'm going to just quickly do this. 
and then just say it doesn't come out over the heat all the time. This is the really difficult pizza and the sugar everywhere else doesn't it? Come on, we can do this. Second time, okay, I'm only going to do this. If this doesn't work, I'm doing this once more, I'm fine, I'm going to consider it a fail on my part. I mean, let's be honest, who actually thought it would work with me? <laughs> I kept saying to everyone, oh, it'll be five minutes. <laughs> and uh, I just wasn't, I've been filming for ages. <laughs> Come on. Hopefully once it starts to melt, it will. It's very glittery and nice, isn't it? It's like a horror camera angle. It doesn't help with the actual sugar lumps in the sugar anyway. Come on, melt please. Oh, God. How on earth did I make this in Squid Game in large batches? It probably worked actually a bit easier in a large batch because the batch when I was making honeycomb. It was a lot easier for, to control the sugar melting on such a larger scale for some reason. Here we go, I'm starting feeling itty gears. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What's this hell? I can't see, so I keep having to bring it up to my eye level. <laughs> come on, come on. Be good for me, please be good for me. And I had the idea of making multiples, so guess what? We're just doing one and we're just going to do probably the pumpkin, because that's probably going to be easier to do than the tree. Let's be honest, the tree in the back is going to be dead hard to try and get out. And she also said it's easier to, put, um, to press on the ramekin so it flattens it out. If you pull a piece of parchment over the top of it, and that way it won't stick, hopefully. You can just peel the parchment off. Parchment. You know what doesn't help? This fact that this hob does not heat things evenly. I've just spilled half the sugar on this thing. That's the well. My hand is actually burning alive. I think you have to just put it with that there. It's happening again, okay, things are crystallising again, so I'm not looking forward to the results. Seriously, who decided to make this a thing? Who thought, I know what will be easy and fun to do with the kids? <laughs> this is hella dangerous. <laughs> this look, it said melt until there's no lumps. There's actually, at the moment, nothing but lumps. <laughs> This will be a fun video, won't it? And I've already eaten all the things that I can taste test because I'm bored. I'm actually completely ignoring everything that the websites and videos have told me. <laughs> okay, okay. Guys, I think we might be there. I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna go for it. Wait for it to stop smoking. Stop smoking. <laughs> it's not like the right colour at all, but like still. Put it in, I put it in, I put it in, I put it in. Oh my god. It's like completely like not doing anything. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh. Okay, we might be there, we might not be there. It's a lot more pourable than last time. Should we just try it and go for it? Let's just try it and go for it, okay. Oh my God, this is working. Oh my God, this is working. Okay, we're gonna have absolutely not enough to do, <laughs> to do the pumpkin, but we're gonna try. Quick, quick, quick. because it's stuck now. It's stuck. <laughs> oh, that's hot sugar, guys. Hot sugar. Okay, right, here we go. Now it's actually, like, becoming... Oh, I've managed to mess it up again. So... I would have got it, I would have got it. Wow, okay, so the parchment paper has actually completely stopped. <laughs> <laughs> right, well that's not usable, is it? <laughs> the burning coming off it can't you? Yeah. 
probably going to cause a fire or something. How did you die? I was trying to make Dale Gloney candy. That's burnt. I hate doing this. <laughs> this is why I hate doing food videos because although it's funny to watch when you completely fail at them, it's actually mentally degrading. I like to think that I'm actually quite knowledgeable when it comes to baking and then I do cooking videos and you think, no, you're absolutely not. <laughs> Pop some baking soda in there. That's loads. Oh my god, that's so that's too much. This might work, you know. Okay, well that's clearly not right, is it? It's not right. It's not right. <laughs> it's not right. I must have invented a new kind of thing. I actually don't know what I've done here. Okay. Do you know what? This is the best I think I'm going to get. I have absolutely nothing that looks like what it's supposed to, but I do have something. It's not hardened yet, so I'm just gonna wait for it to harden. I thought it was going all right, actually, and then I put a bit too much baking soda in, and this is the result. It is not what it's supposed to be. It's what it looks like, and uh, there's like a tiny bit of it. <laughs> so, um, this is the result, putting too much baking soda in. If you put too much baking soda in, honey, um, it causes like it to puff up a lot. And you don't really want that with Dalgona candy. Um, it's rock hard, so tick. It's the right colour, so tick. There is an indentation of a pumpkin. It's not very well preserved, but there is one there. Can you see it? There it is. Tick. Is it the right thickness and consistency? No. Now let's just, um, I will attempt to try and get it out of the shape. <laughs> Don't think it's gonna work. Um, they always, they licked it in the program. Let's try licking it. Oh, that does not weird. <coughs> that, that's disgusting. Um, I know for a fact that if you put too much baking soda in this, it can make it go bitter and really, really gross. So, oh, I think that's what's happened. <coughs> That's really gross. Oh my god, that's so gross. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it to the professionals. I'm glad I got something I can show to the camera. Um, it's not right, like, at all. But I'm glad I got something I can show to the camera. I'm gonna leave it to the professionals, I think. Okay, it's ruining the chopstick. Okay, the chopstick's been bent. <laughs> Don't you see that? The chopstick is bent to the end. All right, let's have a quick go. Look, I know they use pins. I don't know how you're supposed to use a chopstick though. Well, actually, it's kind of working. Chopstick is absolutely being destroyed. Completely being destroyed. I'm not going to eat this at all, so... Okay, why is this pumpkin not round? <laughs> oh, I failed. I failed. I failed. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> Broken heart. <laughs> Do I want another one? If it's one of mine. No. I've got my glasses on. Oh crap, oh look, that looks kind of all right, doesn't it? Oh, new Halloween look. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching me completely fail at making Dalgona candy for about 40 hours, that felt like. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go now. So, okay, say bye, everyone.